Many seniors have difficulty with activities that require being on one leg. That may be balancing on one leg when walking, it may be going up and down stairs, or it may be getting up from the floor. Additionally, those same activities may result in hip or knee pain. Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Candy, and in this video, I'll share five exercises to help you get stronger and more confident on one leg. The first activity is going to be a single leg chair stand. What you'll do for this one is put one leg out in front of you and the other one behind you like this. Now you'll lean your hip forward and you're gonna use this back leg to help push you up. This one is touching the ground, but it's not gonna do a lot of work. I'll switch legs so you can see this from the opposite side. So you'll lean forward like this, push the weight through this back leg, and then stand up. Now you've got the chair behind you for safety. So just in case you have balance concerns, you won't fall backwards. But what if you have difficulty even getting out of a chair using two legs? What do you do in that circumstance? Well, you can do the exercise in reverse. So start from a standing position with one leg forward and one leg backwards, and then sit your bottom back towards the chair, just as far as you can go, and then come back up. The farther down you go, the harder the exercise gets. The higher up you stay, the easier the exercise is. So just go down as far as you can comfortably, without feeling unsafe, and without causing knee pain. Again, to see that from the other side, you'll have one leg forward, one leg backwards. This is gonna be the one that you're working. Stick your bottom backwards behind you, and then come up. Stick your bottom back, come up. If you can get all the way down to the chair, and then come up, again, that's the goal that you're working for. But if you're just starting out, or you have too much trouble or too much difficulty doing that, you can just start out with the partial squat. So that's tip number one. The second exercise is going to be a partial lunge or a split squat. To do this exercise, you'll stagger your feet and you wanna have a fairly wide stagger. Then you're gonna go down just as deeply as you can comfortably. Again, the farther down you go, the harder the exercise becomes. And if you do have some knee pain, it may become a little bit more sore on your knee. So just go down as far as you can comfortably. The wider your stance is, the more weight that's gonna put through your heel, resulting in greater glute strengthening. If you have a really narrow stance, that's gonna strengthen your quads more, but it's also probably gonna put a little bit more stress on your knee. So I would recommend starting with a wider stance, sitting straight down as if you're sitting onto this front heel and just going up and down through the range that you can comfortably. Ideally, you can do this as a balance exercise too without holding on. But again, if you have some balance problems or you're not confident on one leg, please feel free to hold on to a wall or a piece of furniture for safety. The next exercise is going to be a single leg step up. But instead of doing a front step up, we're gonna do it from the side. This allows you, one, to have a little bit more control over the exercise, but additionally, it allows you to maintain tension on this one leg throughout the entire duration of the exercise. Now, using an adjustable step like this one allows you to adjust the intensity. If a tall step like this one is too hard for you, just use a shorter step or even a thick book can be helpful if you're just starting out. But you go up on the step, you want to keep your weight again through the heel of your foot. Additionally, you wanna keep your knee and toe and hip all in an alignment. So it should be a straight line. There's the tendency for the knee to want to go inwards that way, but you don't want to allow that to happen. So make sure you have hip, knee, toe, in alignment as you're doing this exercise. Hold on to something again for balance if you need to. 
This also helps you to lean forward some. If you're straight up and down like this, this does tend to be a little more quad dominant. If you can lean forwards a little bit, that gets your glutes into the exercise a little bit more. You're gonna think about turning your knee out that way. And that's again, just to prevent it from coming inwards. So turn the knee out, that activates your glutes some. Hold on if you need to, and then press up and then come back down. You can come all the way back down to the floor, but if you're not able to do that, and then just doing a partial step down is a little bit easier. But again, go through as much of a range of emotion as you feel comfortable doing. The next exercise is going to be a single leg deadlift. For this exercise, you'll balance on one leg, hold on to something if you need to, and then bend down as if you're bending down to pick something up off the floor. This is sometimes referred to as a golfer's bend, like a golfer bending down to get their golf ball out of the hole. And just go down and back up. What you're thinking about doing is pushing your hips backwards. So this isn't a trunk bend. You're hinging at the hips, pushing your hips backwards. Knee stays fairly straight, but it doesn't need to stay 100% straight. So you're pushing the hips back, reaching down, squeezing your glutes and pushing the hips forward. Pushing your hips back, squeezing the glutes and pushing your hips forward. So this is more of a glute and hamstring strengthening exercise, as well as it works on your hip abductors or your gluteus medius and gluteus minimus, which help you to balance on one leg. As you get better and more confident at this, you can move to doing a single leg deadlift like this without holding on, which again does challenge your balance to a much greater extent. And the final exercise is going to be a single leg heel raise. This is to help strengthen your calves for when you push off when you're walking. To do this, face towards a wall, raise one leg up, and then go up on the toes of one leg. Hold for about a second, and then come back down slowly, raise up, and go back down slowly. And you want to try to raise up as high as you can comfortably go, and then come back down. If you don't have the strength to raise all the way up like this, you can start out by going up on two legs, shifting to one leg, and then coming back down. And it's easier to lower a weight than it is to lift it. So start by lifting with two, coming down on one, and then progress to just doing one leg. You also want to try to keep your Achilles tendon in a straight up and down position. You don't want to allow your ankle to roll inwards or roll outwards. So keep the Achilles straight up and down and go up and down with this exercise. So those were the five single leg exercises for seniors. But wait, there's one more really important exercise on one leg, and that's simply balancing on one leg. Balancing on one leg is one of my favorite exercises, and you probably know that if you watch this channel regularly. The ability to balance on one leg for 10 seconds or more decreases your chances of dying within the next year by 50%. So that's one of the reasons why single leg balance is one of my absolute favorite single leg activities. Now, if you can balance on one leg for 10 seconds or more, then you're ready for these advanced balance exercises in this video right here. But if you're not quite there yet, check out this other video down here on how to make stairs easy. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.